Alrighty, folks, we got another week of new Nightwave challenges, and uh, let's look at the, this on week three. Now, out of all of these, most of these are pretty self-explanatory, you know, scanning stuff, assassination missions, <laughs> go to hell, the sergeant. Uh, but there's one new one, this one. Uh, destroying a cruise ship with forward artillery. Uh, there's still a lot of people out there who aren't really playing Railjack or haven't tried it out so much yet. Uh, who might want a bit of assistance just understanding how to do this one. Um, so I will, I will teach you. I will teach you how to do it. Don't you worry about it. Now, first up, uh, Equinox is not a good frame for doing Railjack stuff. I prefer to be running with a Rhino for that. If I may say, Operator, your chosen Warframe suits It your... does. It does indeed. Uh. Now, uh, as it says here, you have to destroy a cruise ship, and you can't just destroy it anyway. You have to use your forward artillery to do it. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's that? What's my forward artillery? Well, let's go inside my railjack and I'll show you. You can do this even if you don't have your old, own railjack, but there are actually some prerequisites. So there, there is some stuff you need to do uh, to unlock this. Meditation. So, war is a lifetime scholarship. The enemy, no finer teacher. Thank you, Sai. Now, this is uh, the railjack. You know, this is the cockpit up here with the piloting seat, and here you have the the side turrets and all of that. Now, right behind. The piloting seat here is where you get access to your forward artillery so that you can use the big the big shoot bang on the cruise ships and take them out uh, but in order to be able to use this you have to have leveled up your um, your railjack skills railjacks ha uh, it has its own skill point system it isn't called like affinity or stuff but it's called uh, intrinsics and gain you gain intrinsics by doing railjack missions that's it you just do railjack missions and you get your intrinsics uh, and you use your intrinsics to level up your effectiveness in in railjack missions you can get like better vision for your turrets or uh, faster speed or uh, turrets locking onto enemies automatically stuff like that uh, and one of these upgrades is getting access to the forward artillery cannon. So you have to actually level up some, some Railjack stuff in order to be able to do this. Which is fine because the Elite Weekly is completing 8 Railjack missions. So you have a reason anyway to just do Railjack. So if you just do Railjack missions, you will get intrinsics and then you can level them up. Now, how do you level up your intrinsics? Well, if you have a railjack, or you can just go to the dry dock and, and you level up, up from there. But if you don't have a railjack, it's actually quite easy. All you have to do is go to uh, your profile here in the menu, and boom, it's right there! See? Intrinsics, it's right there. You probably didn't even know about it. And from this menu, you can upgrade your uh, railjack skills. And what you want is gunnery. Gunnery rank... Five gives you control of the forward mounted artillery cannon. So every level up to your intrinsics costs double the amount from the previous one. So ranking something up to level one costs like one intrinsic points, and then two, and then four, and then eight, and then sixteen, and then thirty-four, and blah 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 blah. So once you're up to rank five, I think rank five costs to get to rank five costs thirty-four. I mean thirty-two. So 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. That's the amount of intrinsics you need in order to get to gunnery rank 5. And gunnery rank 5 gives you control of the forward mounted artillery cannon. So just get head straight for that. Head straight for that. You can skip these others for now and just level up your gunnery so that you have control of the cannon. Now, once you have control of the forward artillery cannon, we can get to work. So I will start a mission. I will pick a very low level mission, the lowest level here, Earth, Posit Cluster. Shabam, I'm gonna do this one solo so I can just be able to show you how this works. And um, this mission won't have any side objectives. The only objective will be to take out enemy fighters and 
uh, one or two cruise ships. I don't know what the exact amount's gonna be, but it's gonna be like one or two, probably. So, you know. Here we go. Now we just start piloting. I have a pretty high level railjack, so I'm gonna one-shot these boys. I'm supposed to kill 33 fighters and two cruise ships, as you can see in the top left. So I'm just gonna uh, do a cut here to where the only thing I have left to do is take out like one more cruise ship. And uh, at that point I will show you uh, how it's done. We got one here already. Okay, so now all we have left is one cruise ship right here, and I've taken out everything else. Now, first up, if you want this baby to to stay a bit still, so that you can like fire at it in peace and have a good aim, uh, what you can do is you can take out its engines by just shooting at them. You can't actually kill the cruise ship with your normal guns, but you can pop its engines. And now it's stuck there, now it's staying still and it can't move. It can still obviously shoot ram sleds at you with like boarding parties. So, you know, if you don't want to deal with that, then just take those out. And now, if you are not the pilot and you're someone else who are uh, manning uh, the forward artillery, what you can do, because you have to line up the shot, right? What you can do is you can just go into, uh, into uh, the chat while someone else is piloting and you are in the forward artillery. And and once you're there, ah. and once you're there, you can just be like, pilot, please look at uh, the crew ship so I can take a shot. Bam, something like that. And, and hopefully they'll just stand still and look at the crew ship. And now it's time for you to go to work. And then you go to your forward artillery cannon. And hope that they have it loaded, because this thing has ammo, and you have to sort of recharge it and whatnot. Uh, five shots. So here's the cruise ship. On low-level Earth missions, uh, it probably is fine no matter where you shoot, it's gonna die anyway. On high-level things, if you want to be guaranteed to one-shot it, uh, you have to aim for the engines. You don't aim for the main body. So, and you have to charge this thing. So here we go. Just aim for the engine, and... Boom! Love folks who love what they do. We have one less crew ship to be considered. And that's how you do it! Direct attention to remaining targets. Enemy in retreat. Surviving Grenier will spread the word. Hell yeah, they will. Resolved. 